Hello. Uh, today on uh, EDH Bling Builds, <laughs> we're going to feature a very, uh, very, very near and dear uh, to my heart in general. Uh, that is a uh, Zur the Enchanter. Uh, this Esper General uh, has remained as a, a tier zero deck on the e uh, CEDH database for uh, for years. And uh, that reason is because Zur does one thing and one thing uh, really well, and that is uh, swinging to cheat in Necropotence. And, you know, once you have Necropotence on the field, it's so early in the game, you pay a tremendous life uh, to gain a crazy advantage. Uh, usually, you, you want to win the game. Usually, that, that win happens uh, at your end step. Um, I know that people, uh, you know, they have their um, stupid anime um, fancies, their stupid casual ambitions, and they build Zur as a uh, like a like a Voltron deck. I don't know, um, but that's not where he shines. Um, a notable exclusion from this deck will be Doomsday. Uh, I know that Gush, High Tide, Doomsday combos are a little uh, outdated, especially with the existence of a uh, Fast's Oracle. Um, you know, with Tainted Pact in the deck, um, High Tide is super dead uh, because of the stipulation of a uh, Tainted Pact of uh, not having multiple cards of the same name. But uh, anyway. Uh, as we continue, we'll, we'll maybe discuss a couple of cards here and there. So we have Zur the Enchanted, uh, Enchanter, uh, it's Judge Foil. Of course we have Necropotence, because Zur special summons Necropotence. And this deck will run uh, Shimmer Mirror as a finisher. Uh, and as we, um, again, come across uh, noteworthy cards, we'll, talk, we'll discuss. A handful of uh, enchantments in this deck. Uh, Rissic Study, Mystic Remora, and uh, Grasp of Fate, a card you've probably never heard of before because no one runs it. But uh, Grasp, because of that double white, I'm assuming. But uh, Grasp of Fate is a very, very, very good and important card uh, in this deck. When you cannot, for whatever reason, uh, go into your Necropotence, then Grasp of Fate would be the other card you uh, go into um, just to get rid of some stacks pieces from your opponent. Now, uh, remember, because of Zur's weird ruling, because of the way he works, um, and I, I don't know, you could just Google it for yourself, but all these uh, Oblivion Ring type of uh, effects, uh, when they come out with Zur, they kind of go right through Hexproof. So it doesn't matter... Uh, how many times over? Uh, uh, how many times over a hexproof uh, permanent is on the opponent's side? Uh, Zer, he doesn't give a shit about that. Uh, our creature package, we have Vesper Sentinel, really good card, really good card. Except for when I run it, when I run it, um, this thing is nowhere to be found. Uh, it's our confidant. Gilda Drake, and of course, Massa's Oracle. Our counter package. We'll start things off with our soft counter, a silence, and then the rest of the counters, a Dovin's Veto, Mental Mista, Fluster Storm, Witch Spell, Dispel, Swan Song, Miscast, Fierce Guardianship, Force of Will, and Pact of Negation. A notable um, uh, uh, exclusions would be uh, Mana Drain and uh, Force of Negation. Our tutor package, we have Imperial Seal, Demonic Tutor, Mystical Tutor, Vampiric Tutor, Enlightened Tutor. Muddle the Mixture, Merchant Scroll, 
Uh, these cards are in here to help assemble our uh, very, very outdated Dramatic Scepter combo. And Praetor's Grasp, because the opponents have combo pieces too, and I want to get it in on that. Our draw package, OG Brainstorm, the Attacks and Probe, Ponder, Preordain, Frantic Search, and then a handful of wheels. We have Windfall and Time Twister. Uh, notable exclusion would be um, Time Spiral. Without High Tide in the deck, a Time Spiral is just not a good card. Not a good card, especially when you're in a Turbo Adnos build. What's um, Time Spiral like a, a thousand CMC? So it's just not, not worth. And then uh, some weird inclusions would include Scout's Warning, where if you uh, get a huge Necropotent and you dig, dig, dig into Thassa's Oracle, uh, at your end step, you can just go for the win right then and there. Same thing with Quicken. Um, you can cast your Appearance of the Abyss at instant speed. Oh, there she is. Appearance of the Abyss. And then, of course, Ad Nause. Now, I know the deck has a very low CMC count, and it totally gets away with Ad Nause, But this deck wants to do more than just get a huge Ad Nause. It wants to win the game on the spot. So Angel of Grace, even though it's a outdated card, um, you don't see it in, like, Mardu at Turbo Ad Nause builds uh, as much anymore. It's still versatile enough to uh, cuck your opponent. And it has beautiful synergies, of course, with uh, Ad Nauseam. And then Yogmoth's Will. Um, I don't know how I feel about this card in the deck, but uh, there's a spicy tech card in this deck, which uh, Yogmoth's Will, will uh, might be of importance, and we'll find that card in, in just a moment. Uh, Dark Ritual. So this is our Ritual package. Uh, Cabal Ritual. Reign of Filth. Call in the week and sacrifice. Uh, my it's not a beta or alpha. This is just a sharpied black border. I think this card was like cents, a couple of cents. But now, uh, as it's being included in more and more Adnos builds, this cheap like third or fourth edition is a uh, climbing up there. But this is my sharpie bordered. I don't like the black a white border. Yuck! 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 yuck. Our mobile package, very uh, small. We have a uh, Psych Rift, Winds of Rebuke, Chain of Vapor, and Dam. A new card replaces a uh, Yagmos Will, one CMC cheaper. If you're, uh, you know, if Adnos is uh, that important. And even though the deck White White is uh, not so easy to produce, the card's still versatile enough where uh, it's a must. And then the best of the rest. We have our Tainted Pact. Um, if, you know, you're, you're, you're not allowed to proxy your builds for whatever reason, uh, and you're interested in, like, running these higher competitive decks, I know that playing around Tainted Pact is not so easy, um, because the mana base, you know, makes it very difficult, uh, to accommodate, um, uh, Tainted Pact. So maybe, uh, if that's the case, maybe you might want to, you know, look into some uh, internet archives for old school, like high tide doomsday combos. Uh, demonic consultation. Dramatic reversal. And then this card, ancient uh, excavation, uh, which uh, basic lance. I don't know what the fuck basic lance. I can lose. Um, so um, it's pretty much scroll rack in a bottle, uh, which is really important because when you uh, necropotence for like 30 life, you can actually whiff. You can actually whiff. And so uh, Ancient Excavation would be like our backup strategy, right? our backup plan when, when we whiff. There is a scroll rack in the deck, but Ancient Excavation is like half a scroll rack. And so that's the card that I think might make Yagmas Will important. Uh, our artifact package, we have uh, five <laughs> Baga Moxes, right? We have a Chrome Mox, Mox Opal. 
Mox Diamond, Soul Ring, and Mana Crypt. And then we have the uh, eventually <laughs> foiled uh, Jeweled Lotus, Grim Monol, Arcane Signet, Lotus Petal, Talisman of Dominance, Talisman of Progress. The uh, Orisov one is not, not necessary. Um, Mana Vault, uh, War Stone, Wish Claw Talisman. Scroll out, very important, again, when you um, Necropotence and Whiff. Uh, Isochron Scepter, taking it back to uh, 2001. Uh, Sensei's Top, because um, an alternate win would just be to uh, top into your deck, draw the deck, or to um, screw over your opponent's tutoring, or make them mill out their deck. Um, our land package, pretty simple. We have our nine fetches. And our three tutors, of course. Our three tutors, our three um, duels, and our three shocks. White is not important in this deck. This is the weakest uh, duel by far, but it's so important because uh, Ad Nauz and Peer into the Abyss. Basics very simple. Uh, two islands and two swamps, just because of Tainted Pact. And then our Command Tower, Rainbows, Spire of Industry, Mana Confluence, City of Brass, Gemstone Caverns. And then our other duels, our Morphin Pool, and our Sea of Clouds. And then the rest, Ancient Tomb, and uh, Emergent Zone. So you can just go off on your opponent's turn. Easy peasy. So that is Zer in 2021. I love this deck. I love this deck so much. <laughs> My first deck. All right, that's the deck. Uh, speaking of high tide, maybe I'll run a Prosper build featuring soon, which is a new Doomsday 